the big project that I've been involved in is Bethel Hills. And um, over the years, I um, started working with people with developmental disabilities. I'm a nurse, so I just have that, I'd say, innate compassion. That's why I went into nursing. They are people. They're individuals. They have personalities and needs and emotions, um, just like you and I do. And so I began to see some of the needs of that population and just really connected with them. I was working at a community for people with developmental disabilities and um, it closed. It was at that time that uh, there was a great gap and we decided we have to find another way to create community for these people. So from that point on, it became our mission to create a community like Bethel Hills. So this is the end result of it, but it has taken indeed a lot, a lot of work to get here. <laughs> she just has great confidence in the fact that what we are doing is right and we will have help in doing it. We wanted a community where people of all abilities are accepted and valued uh, just the way all of us are. Terry is uh, currently living at Bethel Hills and he is so happy. I mean, they sit on the front porch or on the park bench or walk to the gym um, and visit with neighbors. When Terry comes home from work, he can go down to the garden, work in the garden. He can visit with his friends. Last night, they had a pizza party at his house. So everyone came of all ability levels. And uh, so for him, the quality of life, that's what we're talking about. What makes them happy? It's one thing to provide a service. And it's another thing to provide a situation in which the service becomes a natural thing to happen. And that's what happens at Bethel Hill. I say the Lord has put my passion for these folks in my heart, and, um, and it won't go away. I've, I've lived in Bethel Hill a year and a half. I like it there. Billy is a pretty nice lady, and I've been telling her it's just, I mean, all the stuff we're doing, all the stuff we're doing out there, out there like I, said, I think I told her, but all God's doing out there, all the stuff they're doing out there for us. And when the need is there, it's got to be addressed, and that's that's what I say. If every one of us would stop when we find somebody in need and just address that one situation, oh, the world would be such a better place. <laughs>